Namaskar. Welcome to Yoke Path. In this video, we are going to explain how yolk can relieve acidity and gastritis. These both are one of the common ailments suffered by people these days. Acid is produced in the stomach for digestion of food, but sometimes this acid becomes in excess and it starts attacking the stomach lining itself and then it causes dizziness, burning sensation and nausea etc. This condition is known as acidity. Although stomach lining itself produces some kind of mucus to prevent such conditions of suffering but due to certain conditions like bacterial infection, chronic stress or excess consumption of alcohol, it cannot produce mucus and the lining cannot defend itself. But both these conditions are curable, rather preventable by just maintaining healthy digestive system. Unfortunately for this, we have yoga, which is one of the most, most effective and reliable measure to avoid such conditions and their sufferings. If done regularly and properly, which is the most important thing, if done regularly and properly, you can do wonders in strengthening your digestive system and you can avoid such sufferings and acute and chronic digestive ailments. So first of all, we start with Udar Shakti Vikasak Vyayam. This exercise has five parts. Let's start with the first. Stand straight with feet together and hands by your side. Now inhale slowly through your nose and distend your abdomen as much as possible. Hold this for 10 seconds. Now exhale slowly through your nose and pull in your abdomen as much as possible. Hold this for 10 seconds. Now relax. We will repeat this cycle three times. Now repeat the inhale and exhale. While inhaling, you have to distend your abdomen as much as possible and while exhaling, you have to pull in your abdomen as much as possible. After a normal breathing, repeat this cycle third time. Keeping your arms and legs straight. Now relax. Next we do the second subtle exercise. Stand straight with feet together and hands by your sides. Now bend forward to about 60 degrees with hands on your back, fingers pointing backward and thumb pointing forward. Now inhale slowly through your nose and distend your abdomen as much as possible. Hold for 10 seconds. Now exhale slowly through your nose and pull in your abdomen as much as possible. Now breathe normally once or twice, then repeat the cycle of inhaling slowly and distending your abdomen as much as possible. Holding for some time and then exhaling slowly while pulling your abdomen in as much as possible. Now stand straight and relax. Now we'll do the third subtle exercise. Stand straight with your feet together and hands by your side. Now put your hands on your hips with fingers pointing backward and thumb pointing forward. Now bend 
to your 90 degree forward. Keep looking forward. Then inhale slowly through your nose and distend your abdomen as much as possible. Hold for 10 seconds. Then exhale slowly through your nose and pull in your abdomen as much as possible and hold for 10 seconds. Now take normal breathe and then repeat the inhale exhale cycle while puffing or distending your abdomen as much as possible and pulling in your abdomen while exhale as much as possible. We will repeat three cycles with two to three normal breathes in between. Then stand back, stand straight and relax. Next moving to the fourth exercise, stand straight with your feet together and hands by your side. Now put your palms on hips with fingers pointing backward and thumb pointing forward. Now bend forward to about 60 degrees looking straight. Then inhale and exhale completely as much as possible. Then pump in your abdomen distending as much as possible and pulling it in as much as possible. Repeat this pumping in till you can comfortably hold. Then take a break of 2 to 3 normal breathing and repeat this pumping after exhaling completely again. Take a break of 2 to 3 normal breathes in between. And again repeat the cycle of pumping in and out of abdomen after exhaling completely. Then take a deep long breath and come back to normal standing position and relax. Finally, doing the fifth exercise, stand straight with your feet together and hands by your side. Now put your palms on your hips with fingers pointing backward and thumb pointing forward. Then bend forward to about 90 degrees. Looking forward. Now inhale and exhale completely. And without inhaling back, distend your abdomen as much possible and quickly pull it inside as much as possible. Repeat this distend in and pull in for a few times without inhaling. Then take a normal breathe. And repeat this cycle three times. Inhale, exhale completely and then do the in and out of abdomen for as long as you can hold and do comfortably. Then again a gap of one to two breathes in between and repeat the third set. Finally, take a deep long breath, stand back, 
and relax. Now that we have relaxed our muscles, we move on to yoga sir. First of all, we will do standing pose Trikon Asan, also known as the triangle pose. Please do not perform this asan if you have high blood pressure, cervical spondylitis, any back problem. First of all, stand straight with feet together and hands by your side. Now place your feet 2 to 3 feet apart with your right foot turned towards right and left foot pointing in front. Then by slowly inhaling, raise your hands straight sideways along the shoulder line with palms facing down. Then by slowly exhaling, bend towards your right and try to touch the ground with your right palm. For stability, you can look forward and focus at a fixed point ahead. Keep in mind that your elbows and knees should not bend, your back should be straight and your hands should be in straight line. Hold for 5 to 10 seconds or as per your body allows. Then, while slowly Inhaling, return back to the center position, bring down your hands and then repeat the procedure for left side. Turn your right foot towards front and your left foot towards left. Now while slowly inhaling, raise your hands along shoulder line with palms facing down and then while exhaling, bend towards your left, keeping your arms straight. Try to touch the ground with your palm and hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds. If you are unable to reach the ground, then try to bend as much possible. And keep in mind, your arms should be straight, your elbows and Knees should not bend at any moment while performing this asana. After holding, inhale and return back to standing position. Bring back your hands and feet together and then relax. Let us repeat this asana once again. Place your feet 2 to 3 feet apart and turn your right foot to 90 degrees or towards right, keeping your left foot pointing in front. Then while inhaling, raise both your hands along shoulder line with palms facing down. Then while exhaling, bend towards your right, keeping your arms straight. Try to touch the ground with your palm. Look forward, your arms should be aligned in a straight line. And keep in mind that your elbows and knees should not bend. Your back should be straight while performing this asana. Hold for 5 to 10 seconds. After that, by slowly inhaling, return back to the center standing position. Bring down your hands and then Repeat the same procedure for left side. Turn your right foot towards forward and your left foot to left side. Then while inhaling, raise both your arms along the shoulder line, palms facing down. Then bend slowly while exhaling towards left and try to touch the ground with your hand. If you are not able to touch the ground, then just try as much as possible you can bend while keeping your elbow, while keeping your arms in a straight line and please mind your elbows and knees should not bend. 
while inhaling come back to the standing position bring down your hands and feet together and relax next we will perform ardha matsendra asan also known as the half lord of fishes do not perform this asan if you have any back problem or knee pain breathe normally throughout the asan now sitting with both legs straightened in front keep your spine straight then first fold your left leg and place it perpendicularly over your right leg then fold your right leg and place your heel below the hip then fold your right hand and press your left knee with your right hand and fingers of right hand stretched and straightened pointing upwards your left hand at back side with palm facing down and turn your head towards left try to feel the pressure and hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds your hands should be straight and try to feel the stretch and the pressure developed over your spine your leg muscles and your hands after holding come back to normal sitting position by bringing back your hands and legs in comfortable sitting position and relax then repeat this asan with other side first of all fold your right leg and place it perpendicularly over your left leg supported by your hand then fold your left leg and place your heel under your hip then fold your bend your left hand and place it in such a position pressing your right knee with your fingers stretched and pointing upwards then right hand placed at the back with fingers pointed away from you palm touching the ground and turn your head towards right looking back keeping your spine straight hold this position for as long you feel comfortable keeping your back straight muscles stretched hands pressing the knee breathing normally after holding bring back your hands and legs in comfortable sitting position and relax let us repeat this asan once again this ardha matsendra asan is a very beautiful stretching asan for your overall body as it helps your all the limbs limbs means your hands your legs as well as your spinal cord to stretch in one particular asan this stretching relieves your muscle pain and the twist caused in your abdominal region provides your digestive system system your abdominal organs your pelvic region a very good relaxing soothing effect and it rejuvenates your systems so that they function more efficiently and properly if done regularly and properly by keeping the stretch points and the press points in mind while performing you can gain many many benefits from this asan it is very good for your conditions of acidity gastritis indigestion and many other digestive system related ailments also it is wonderful asan for your reproductive system and your thoracic region so performing this asan in the beginning for holding only for 5 to 10 seconds and with much more practice you can raise the whole time as per your body allows 
सो वी हैव जस्ट सीन रेपिटेशन ऑफ अर्ध मत्सेंद्र आसन जस्ट कीप इन माइंड योर आर्म्स योर लेग्स शुड बी स्ट्रेच एंड स्ट्रेट एंड योर स्पाइन शुड बी स्ट्रेट After completing the repetition rounds, come back in comfortable sitting position and relax. Next in line, we will be doing sitting pose Ushtarasan, also known as the camel's pose. Please do not perform this asan if you have back pain, leg muscle injury, or knee pain. First of all. First of all, sit with bent knees, keeping your spine straight, and focus at a fixed point ahead. Then stand on your knees while placing them at shoulder apart distance. Then bend backwards slowly, breathing normally, and try to hold your right foot with your right hand. then similarly holding your left foot with your left hand arch your back as much possible let your neck loose and bend it backwards and hold this position for at least 5 to 10 seconds or till your body allows arch your back as much and raise your pelvic region upwards and feel the pressure in your arms your sciatica nerve and your abdominal region after holding bring back your hands one by one and sit in the comfortable position and relax let us repeat this asan once again again sitting with bent knees then standing on knees and placing them at shoulder apart distance then holding the feet one by one with your respective hands and arching your back hold the position for as long as your body allows all these asanas that we are just seeing the ardhamatsin the paschimottan the ushrasan all these target your metabolism the digestive system it keeps it healthy so that the insulin that could be produced will not allow blood sugar levels to rise the pancreas will function properly the spleen will function properly the digestive system will function properly overall so the digestive related ailments acidity gastritis indigestion or any other could be corrected and you can have healthy happy life so you have seen the power of you that it can do wonders in your life you must have felt yourself while performing the yoga asanas now we close this therapy session with a prayer om sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukh bhag bhave om shanti shanti shanti